Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toasty and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exodus video and today we're gonna review the new banner that we got with the, this X. Uh, so we're gonna start with Frank Pritchford, uh, which is our 3 star going into 5 star. Let's just say that there's nothing much to talk about him than just this TM, where you can see right here. Increase HP and MP by 15% and increase light lightning resistance by 20%. So guys, if you get Frank Pritchford, that's the only reason you're going to use them, is basically just his TM, because let's go over his things. They're nothing special, and let's be honest, you guys will not use any uh, 3 to 5 star unit in the future, because these bosses and everything is just going to get harder and harder. So, uh, that's all his kits right here. I'm not going to talk about it, because there's nothing impressive. So, uh, Frank Pritch uh, Pritchford, I'm sorry dude. You're out of the equation. Let's move on to our four star going to six star, Vaclav Kohler. So let's go over his TM. Increase HP and attack 20%. Increase physical evasion by 5%. That's actually really, really good. Uh, especially if you want to build up that evasion. And let's say you're just missing five or 10% and you have two of those. Well, getting that e extra HP and attack is actually really, 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 really good. Uh, especially if your uh, your tank is countering, getting that extra, let's say, 40% or 20% in attack will be really, really good. We're going to go over his stuff, even though there's nothing special. Uh, reboot system, paralyze and confuse 50% uh, to one enemy. Not good at all. Uh, toy gun experiment uh, experimentation, 1.8 uh, to one enemy. It's a three hit. Mass remote hacking, physical damage two times to all enemy. Inflict confuse 50% to all enemies. Let's just say that a lot of bosses uh they're really all um immune to status ailment most of the time so these things right here nothing good even this five star move and six stars are not crazy physical damage 1.5 to one enemy mitigate damage taken 10 percent for three turns to all allies uh if i'm not mistaken crow as a better mitigation of i think 30 percent or 20 percent which already is a lot better than this um Increase defensive enhancement, decrease defense and spirit 50% for uh, to, for one turn to one ally. Physical damage, five times multiplier with delay, one turn to all enemies. Not great at all. Physical damage, augmentation, tuning, physical damage, two times to all enemy. It's a four hit move, uh, nothing crazy either. Augmentation, fortification, this is the move where whenever you cast it, you basically get another ability unlocked, so we'll go over them. Eel 2000 HP with uh, split over three turns to caster increase defense and spirit 70 percent to one turn to the casters which is not bad and you're gonna build access to the following ability for one turn black market augmentation which is right here decrease defense and spirit for 60 percent for three turns to all ally uh, all enemies sorry and increase attack magic 60 percent for three turns to all uh, allies this thing is not that bad because the break is really really good but just knowing that you need to cast one move to get that move after uh nothing great uh we're gonna go over the other one which is controversial augmentation decrease lightning resistance 50 percent for five turns to one enemy add lightning element to physical attack for five turns to the caster and enables access to the following ability for three turns full augmentation po potential potential uh so right here physical damage 2.5 would ignore 25 percent to one enemy chaining family it's gonna chain with octo slash uh, and it's an 8 it move. Let's be honest, chances of you chaining with another Sephiroth are really, really slim. Because if you have Sephiroth, chances are you're going to chain with another Sephiroth. So uh, this guy here, nothing crazy. Even his uh, trait abilities are not that great. Uh, and all, even his, uh, you know, his limit burst, lightning, physical damage, 4.2 to all enemies. Increase attack 64% uh, for 3 turns. Decrease attack and magic 52%. For three turns to all enemy it's a good break but you know it's not uh worth maxing out with your limit burst uh pots 52 percent break is really not that great uh especially from a four star and you need to build up that limit burst and use all those limit limit burst pots so in my opinion not worth at all but you know what the tm is actually really really nice so if you get some of him go for that tm now let's move on to the real deal and guys if you are new to this channel please leave a like down below and uh, subscribe for more content so let's get into the big meta of the five star going into seven star victor marchenko so 
He's a tank slash physical attacker, but let's be honest, his uh, tank cap capabilities, capabilities, sorry, is actually really, really good. So let's go over his TR, energy converted, uh, increased HP by 20% and defense by 30%. Auto heals uh, 1,800 HP every turn and recovers 10% MP, which that thing is really, really nice to put on your uh, your tanks or even on your healers. So that thing is really, really nice. Then is Super TMR, Marchenko's Secret, increased defense by 80%. So yes, it's written 80% when equipped with a heavy armor and increased resistance to sleep, paralyze, confuse, and petrify by 100%. So this Super TMR is amazing. Uh, knowing that, you know what, it's a limited time banner and uh, you're going to have to spend a lot of resources unless you are super, super lucky and getting four of them. Uh, that, I guess that's why they made that Super TMR that good. Uh, if For your tank, this is going to be amazing. But chances are you get it, four of them. It's going to be really, really hard. But nonetheless, I hope you guys can get four of them. Let's go over his... Um, his abilities so first one he gets uh he has a lot of good breaking abilities which i really love right here first one pps knockback physical damage three times to one enemy uh it's a one hit move then he has emp grenade and stun grenade emp will basically break the magic and spirit by 50 percent for three turns to all enemies and stun grenade will break the attack and defense by 50 percent for three turns to all enemies uh that thing is really really nice uh, especially that break 50% is actually better than uh, Warrior of Light and Bosch. The only difference is Warrior of Light is going to break the attack and magic. As of here, uh, he's going to break the magic and spirit and attack and defense. Nonetheless, this is really, really nice. 50% is really, really good. Then he's going to get Orchid. Physical damage two times per turn for five turns to one enemy. So every time, I guess it's just going to hit for five turns. Uh, which is really really nice one hit 36 MP. That's where he gets a lot of good abilities guys showdown That thing is really really cool Increased chance of being targeted 100% for five turns So for five turns he's gonna draw all the attacks to him increase attack and defense 100% to himself for five turns to caster and he's gonna increase his LB gauge one to four crystal to caster whenever you cast that so this is really really nice and after that This is where he really shines implanted rebreather Cure all status ail uh, ailments to caster. Increase resistance to all status ailments for 3 turns. 100% for 3 turns. Cure stats break. So let's say his defense and spirit is broken. He's going to cure that. Uh, stop and charm. So no stop and charm. He's going to increase his attack, defense, magic and spirit break resistance by 100% for 3 turns to caster. So that thing is solid. So he basically takes all, uh, all the status ailments out of him. Uh, he's going to make him uh, immune to attack, defense, magic, and spirit break. Uh, he's going to resist, stop, and charm. Then, yeah, so he's going to resist, stop, and charm for three turns. So this is basically the move where you just cast and he's almost unbeatable for three turns. So this is really, really, really nice. Then he gets Biocell Restoration. Recover uh, uh, HP, 10,000 HP and 200 MP to caster, which is really, really nice. Pro Augmentation. Physical damage four times with defense scaling to one enemy. Increase physical damage against humans 75% for three turns to caster. One hit move. Then he has pro human. Physical damage four times with defense scaling to one enemy. Increase physical damage against mechanical monster 75% for three turns to caster. Uh, these things are really, really nice. Then the last two things that he get on his six star form. He gets confrontation. Increase chance of being targeted 100%. For uh, five turns to caster, five, five turns to caster and mitigate damage taken 25%. Uh, so he's gonna mitigate mitigate 25% of the damage taken for five turns. This thing is really really nice, and he has takedown, physical damage 7.5 times multiplier with defense scaling to one enemy. So you guys can see that you can build this defense really really high and use those defense scaling to dish out a little bit more damage. Uh, let's go over his 7 star abilities, security system, physical damage 6.5 with defense scaling to all enemies, uh, he's going to be able to chain with Lunera, so Oriole Ray, that big move of 30 hits, he's going to be able to chain with her, then he's going to get Icarus Dash on a 5 turn cooldown, which you can uh, cast on turn 5, physical damage 18.5, so yes, 18.5 times multiplier with defense scaling to 1 enemy, 
decreases lightning resistance 75% for three turns to one enemy. Uh, this is really solid. So the higher your defense is, the higher that multi multiplier is going to hit. And it's a only, only one hit move, but that thing is really, really good. And the break for 75% is pretty solid. Then you get Plasma Bolt. Sorry. Uh, on a five turn cooldown, same thing available on turn five. Uh, physical damage, 18.5 once again with, uh, with defense scaling. Decrease fire resistance, 75% for three turns to one enemy. So it's basically the same move. One, you're going to imperil uh, lightning resistance by 75%. And the other one, you're going to imperil fire resistance by 75%. Then he gets the last one, Augmented Titan on a three turn cooldown available on turn one. Increased chance of being targeted 100% for two turns to caster. Mitigate physical damage taken 20% uh, for two turns to caster. And grants uh, an HP barrier of 4000 HP for two turns to caster. So let's say he has 10,000 HP, guys. You cast this on uh, turn one and you're now at 14,000 HP. So basically, you get that 4000 barrier. The second the boss hits you and it breaks that barrier, well, you're now going to get hit for your real HP. Uh, you cannot heal that barrier, all right? So once the barrier is broken, now you can literally heal the HP. Uh, so that thing is really, really nice. So build that defense and you guys can do a lot of damage, lots of damage. So let's go over his traits or um, his innate capa capabilities. He has a cybernetic prost prosthesis. Prosthesis? Prosthesis. Whatever. Increase HP and attack by 20%. Enables dual wielding of one-handed weapon. So you guys give him a sword, a uh, short sword, whatever. Whatever is one-handed, he can dual wield. So innate dual wield already really, really good. Then he has counter. Chance of countering physical attack. 30% chance with a normal attack. Revolutionist. Increase attack and defense 150% for two turns when HP drops below 50%. So let's say his HP goes under 50 for 50%. He's going to buff all his stats by 150%, which is really, really solid. Uh, then he has Titan Armor, increased defense by 50% when equipped with a heavy armor. Uh, augmented augmented Prosthetics. I got this one right. Increased defense and spirit. Defense by 30% and spirit by 20%. Secret of Old Blue Eye. Once you have his TMR on him, increase attack and defense by 30%. Increase equipment defense by 40% when dual wielding so the second you have dual wield you're going to increase uh his equipment's defense by 40 percent which is really really good then you're going to get increased 20 percent in spr and the last one at level 120 so let's say you make it there mark of the illuminati increase hp mp and defense by 20 percent and increase the modifier on uh, pro augmentation pro human and takedown so it becomes a two times multiplier at the beginning which is really really good and let's go over his limit burst uh, Hyperion Plasma Blast, physical damage, 15 times multiplier with defense scaling to all enemies. It's a one hit move, 22 crist. Uh, I gotta say, this guy, Viktor Marchenko, looks really, really good. The only thing that, for me, I think he's lacking, which would have been amazing to make him a little bit better, would have been an AoE physical cover. Uh, if he would have had that, then he would have been really worth pulling for because it would have been that much better if you guys don't have illusions nicole then it really sucks because you can't make him an uh, aoe physical uh, cover tank but for the rest everything looks amazing the, if you max out his defense really really high and you use that to do damage uh he could do he could be a really really good tank if you guys get him use him as 100 percent provoke tank 100 go for it because uh, he's going to be solid if you guys are lucky enough to get two of him bring him to seven star uh but for me personally the only thing i think he's missing would have been a uh, aoe cover ability but uh nonetheless this guy still looks really really cool and uh i hope i can probably get him on a ticket or let's say on a free daily but i don't want to go crazy on this guy because uh you know what something really good's coming soon but nonetheless victor manchenko really worth uh the resources if you can put them into the game or if you can't then you know what? That's going to have to be a skip, guys. But nonetheless, Viktor Machenko, you get the thumbs up, boy, because you are one solid tank. Then let's move on to the last one. Adam Jensen. He's a physical attacker slash support. Uh, let's go over his TMR. Increase equipment attack by 20% when dual wielding and increase attack by 30% when equipped with a gun, sword, throwing weapon, or fist, uh, which is almost like... Uh, 
What's his name? What's his name? Uh, Rain's dad. Uh, Ra uh, Reagan. It's almost like Reagan's TM, where you basically boost the attack by 30% when equipped with a large sword, katana, sword, and I forgot the last one, and a short sword, if I'm not mistaken. So it's almost the same thing, but now you get the increase in 20% when dual wielding, which is really, really good. Then his super TMR, his trench coat. Attack 35, defense 20, spirit 20, and SWAT specialist. Basically increase your equipment, uh, your attack by 50% when equipped with a gun. So that thing is really, really nice. And he looks really, really cool in this little suit. Uh, let's move on to, on to the abilities. Stealth Enhancer. Negate, uh, mitigate, wait, negate 3 physical damage uh, taken for 3 turns to caster. Then he has wall breaker. Physical damage one time to one enemy. Decreases defense by 60% for three turns to one enemy, which is really, really good. That's a strong break. Then he has PPS, knockback, physical damage three times to one enemy. Uh, it's a one hit move. Smart vision, view info on one enemy. Decreases attack, defense, magic, and spirit break 45% for three turns to one enemy. So that thing is really, really nice, especially if you want to break all the stats in one turn. Uh, boom, 45% is actually really, really strong. It's the equivalent of having Warrior of Light doing the Arms Eraser and um, the other one. Uh, I forget the name. Doesn't matter. Uh, it's as good as breaking the attack and magic and then breaking the defense and spirit. So this thing is really, really cool. Smart vision. Then he has Tesla. Not the car. Uh, literally the attack. Lightning physical damage, 3.5 to one enemy. Decreases lightning resistance 50% for three turns to one enemy. Inflicts paralyze 60% to one enemy. The paralyze is not that great. And uh, the six hit move, we're not sure yet because we can't see the frame. But uh, hopefully one person can try it out there and let me know down in the comment section. You can probably chain it with uh, Orlando, Lightning Stab or something like that. Or Knight Delita is a move with Lightning. So if somebody out there can try that, let me know down below in the comment section. Or once we have the frame uh, data, data, it's going to be a little bit easier to say. Then he has Wide Band, Frequency Jammer, Increased Physical Damage Against Mechanical Monsters. 100% for 3 turns to Caster and Physical Damage one time to one enemy so it's a one hit move basically for three turns bam you do a hundred percent extra damage against mechanical monsters then he has implanted rebreather cure all status ailments to caster increased resistance to all status ailments for three turns to caster cure attack defense magic and spirit break stop and charms to caster increase attack defense magic and spirit break resistance for three turns to caster increase stop so it's basically the same thing that our friend victor marchenko has where for almost three turn he's immune to everything which this thing is really really cool uh hopefully more units in the future will get stuff like that to make sure that they're really resistant against everything then he has quicksilver reflex booster i said that really fast instant ko 50 percent or deal physical damage three times to one enemy uh nothing crazy there the instant ko not that good but the physical damage could be useful then he has titan grant hp barrier 3500 HP barrier for three turns to caster, which is really really cool. Sorry. Then he has nanoblade that he gets on uh, level 100, and that's gonna be the big move. So that's the one where we said that he keeps increasing. So physical damage three times with consecutive increases, 11 times. Uh, so it goes up by one time every time to a grand total of 14 times multiplier at the end to one enemy. So that thing is really really good. Uh, it just takes a little bit a little bit of time to build up. But once you build it up, you can do a lot of damage with that one hit to finish off a chain or something like that. Then we're going to go over his seven star moves, explosive, eat, blade, five turn cooldown. You can use it on turn five, fire physical damage, 12 times to one enemy, decreases fire resistance, 100% for three turns to one enemy, which is really, really cool, but really expensive on the MP. So 120 right here. So that's really, really uh, expensive. Make sure you have a lot of MP recovery. Then he has Typhoon Explosive System, 6 turn cooldown available on turn 1, fire physical damage 12 times to all enemy, decreases fire resistance by 75% for 3 turns to 1 enemy, and you can chain it with a Tornado. Why would you chain it with Tornado? I don't know, because Tornado is Wind Element, and this is going to be uh, mostly Fire Element or whatever element you need to give it to, but it can chain with Tornado which is really really cool really expensive once again on the mp at 120 then at level 110 remote hacking five turn cooldown you guys can use it on turn five increase physical damage against mechanical monsters 75 percent for one turn 
to caster and physical damage 17 times multiplier to one enemy so the multiplier is really really high here and uh, he's gonna be able to dish out a lot of damage but still expensive on the MP so make sure you look at that MP and his passive abilities uh, he basically has um, in a dual wield increased attack by 20% and it enables dual wield of one ended weapon uh, augmented increase HP by 20% increased resistance to poison and disease 100% flash suppressant increased attack by 30% and uh, blind increase resistance to blind by 100% energy converter recover MP 10% per turn which is really really good health system increase HP by 30% and auto wheel 1800 HP every single turn once you equip him with his own TMR increase equipment attack by 60% when dual wielding and increase attack defense and spirit by 20% use juggernaut collective agent at the start of battle so right here juggernaut collective agent it's going to grant him a 2000 HP barrier for three turns which is really really cool right at the stuff uh, right at the start of the battle which is really really nice then he has rhino the uh, dermal armor increase hp by 10 percent and defense by 20 percent and the last one at level 120 focus enhancement increase attack by 50 percent and it's going to increase the modifier to nanoblade pps knockback quicksilver reflex booster and tesla to a two times multiplier so right here if we go let's say nanoblade uh it starts as a five times multiplier and every time you go up it's going to increase it so at the end you're not finishing at 14 you're going to finish at 16 which is really really cool uh he's a cool character let's go over his limit burst the big finishing move physical damage once maxed out at level seven uh seven star sorry maxed out physical damage 10.4 times multiplier with ignore 50 percent defense to one enemy Decreases lightning resistance 100% for three turns to one enemy, and it's going to be a one hit move. Uh, so, what can we say about Adam Jensen? Uh, not too many chaining moves, which is going to be this one, but I think you're going to be using more him as a dual wielder finisher type of move because the nano blade you can uh, build it up a little bit faster. Uh, he has some cool abilities. The TM is amazing, guys. That T, though, both TMs are really, really good. Uh, but like I said before, chances, let me just get this straight, chances of getting Adam Jensen four times and Viktor Marchenko four times to get that super TMR is going to be super, super hard. Uh, if you get him once, well, at least the TMR of both unit is really, really good. Should you guys go all wailed out on that? Personally, I don't think so. I'm not going to go for it because uh, some better units are going to come in the future where you're going to be able to pull for dupes with the unit of choice ticket. Uh, nonetheless, really, really good characters, him and uh, Viktor Marchenko. I would rather pull Viktor Marchenko because I find him really, really impressive with his abilities and everything. And as a 100% provoke tank for five turns, uh, you could probably build his defense really, really high. Uh, but uh, if I get one of both, I'll be pretty happy. But it all comes down to you guys. Do you need these units? Do you have to pull? Are you a whale? Are you more of a guy that, you know, or a girl that just wants to keep those resources for whenever a real good unit, uh, not a real good unit, but a real unit that you want and you want to play with? Uh, everybody's talking about IO. If you guys want IO, I would literally tell you guys, keep your resources and put everything on the unit that you want. And uh, that's my review on these characters. Uh, we just go over the stats and everything. But my review for these characters, if you're a big whale and you want to go for it, go for it. If you're just someone who plays the game casually and you want to play with the characters that you want to play with, then keep your resources and use them on the characters that you want. Guys, I hope this video was helpful for some of you guys i know we just i just read stuff that's online but uh shout out to X, xvs gamepedia for all the data mine they do on that uh on the game and uh yeah guys thank you so much for watching please like i said before if you are new to this channel leave a like down below on this video if you find it helpful please leave some comments down below and once again if you are new to this channel and it's your first time here press on the little red subscribe button and subscribe for more content from your boy toasty guys on this one have a wonderful day and enjoy the rest of your weekend peace